I wonder, you know, the role of technology and, and the biggest companies in technology, you know, Google and with its YouTube, uh, uh, Facebook, of course, Twitter, uh, they seem to, the Russians seem to have figured out how to influence uh, uh, the American electorate, maybe even more than some of our own politicians. No, obviously they're very good at it. If anyone, uh, they've been doing this for decades in Europe. If, they imag if anyone imagined they'd stop at our shores, they were being naive. Uh, I just read the Facebook ads and watched some of them as well, the, the, the Twitter ads as well, and it's clear uh, they were using the most divisive issues they possibly could. Uh, the real issue will be how did they target? And you're absolutely right. Uh, the, the tech community needs to play a role in addressing this working with the American public. Well, the tech community sure played a role in, in uh, uh, making these tools available. What kind of tools are we? I understand you guys aren't releasing the ad, but give me, or the ads plural, give me a sense of what those divisive issues were. Uh, I think if you looked at the divisive issues that candidate Trump used, like immigration and race, uh, you would have caught mo the majority of these ads. So you're talking about uh, ads that targeted uh, Syrian refugees? Are you talking about uh, things that targeted uh, uh, immigrants coming from Mexico? What are you talking about here? Well, I think, uh, I think you can grasp what I'm talking about when you talk generally about the issues of race, uh, the divisive points in our country, uh, the issue of immigration and, and migration, and how the American public was reacting to that. Just uh, remind yourself how candidate Trump used those issues to heat up the American public, and clearly uh, the Russians exploited that at the same time. Has Facebook done everything you want them to do in terms of giving information to your committee? Uh, I think this is just the first page turning this information over to us. I think they need to make these uh, public. Uh, I think there's a number of stances they need to take immediately to talk about this. One is the acknowledgement that, look, if you take an ad out in the, news, uh, the New York Times or on TV for a candidate, uh, there's some acknowledgement of who paid for that. Uh, we can't have this opaqueness. We have to have full transparency and accountability on who's attempting to influence the electorate. Uh, second, uh, where were the preventative measures that at least would have tipped off Facebook and other platforms that these could have been political ads? So there's at least two easy measures in my mind that they can look at, uh, increasing public awareness and understanding who's trying to motivate us. How far along in this investigation are you guys? Do you have a sense that this is where it was limited to, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube, or do you think it went no. beyond that? Uh, I, I, I think there's probably ads out there that we haven't even found. It's, it's quite possible that there's uh, the use of social media right now that uh, has not been uncovered. Uh, they simply haven't found it. Look how long it took them to find these ads and make them available to us. So it's clear uh, we were flying blind and we need their help to make sure that doesn't happen again.